YouTube. I'm going to talk to you today about the seven deadly sins. These are the seven things you should avoid doing in excess, or they'll lead you down a bad road. The first is gluttony, that is eating too much food, and that is more than you know is right to do. That is things like stuffing, or eating in excess, or eating to the point where you don't feel that it's what your body needs. So this, uh, sorry, I got distracted really. Um, I should see the camera's in focus. Those two things will get you in a problem insofar as it will get you um, uh, will end up feeling bloated, irritable, and um, well, I'm not a doctor, but probably in a bad feeling kind of stayed away. But I don't know, I'm not glutton, so anyway. The next thing is <coughs> um, pride. That is putting yourself and your own opinion of yourself highly, but too highly over and holding it over the opinion others but not in a sense of self-respect uh self capability and self-reverence so that is putting your opinion over someone else's uh, about yourself or about how they view you how they think of you because every person is entitled to their own viewpoint and their own opinion and it's not your right to take their opinion away from them or to to take their viewpoint away from them uh that being said it's healthy to have a certain amount of self-respect which is what i would say um what would be a good amount of self-respect uh, it's also healthy to have self-reverence because you should treat yourself uh, holily, uh, as is uh, religiously astute to do. Uh, astutely is something that is appropriate to do in excessively what I can refer to. Or in excess of referral, I'll say. Or with excess of referral. There. Uh, the next thing um, is... Um, oh, the first thing, and then the second thing. And whatever it is though, um, just look back in the video if you want. Take this time to pause the video and go back. And um, it is um, self-capability, yes. And it is your belief in yourself to succeed. So, that. Uh, the third thing is envy. This is dangerous. This is when you hold someone else's stardom over your own ability to succeed and be a star. Um, the idea of this is that in the United States of America, you won't make it. Uh, you won't go very far and you'll get torn apart. Because if you think that you... Um, can put your ability to succeed and shine in America as a unique star or if you to shine in America as a unique person and um, succeed in whatever field you want to excel at, um, you will not get far if you do not value that each person is unique and if they offer and they'll bring, or as I would say, just bring your, their own, um, I'll just get you with that sentence, continue their own, um, you, or bring their own unique um, flavor to the table, <laughs> or not flavor to the table, um, their own unique What'll just happen? So I was like about to say something like the words like broke in front of me. It's so weird. And I was talking like something like flipped some weird way. I don't know. Can't explain it, but it's um I don't I don't know what it's doing right now. Like there's something going wrong with someone trying to understand consequentiality, trying to interfere with the universe. I can't say what it is, just that maybe they shouldn't be arguing with that the feedback loop they're trying to work on isn't really working well so i don't know what the problem is anyway it's strange it's like brandon dillinger's about fucking up his life because japan's trying to help him they don't know what the fuck they're doing so maybe they should just quit and mark I should, go, should go back to gary martin get his life together and i can just get back on track with my life and it'll be fine there's all the things in my universe that just fit <laughs> why and how because they just fit and because they just do <laughs> anyway um Another thing to keep in mind with pride is knowing too much and wanting to know too much. That'll get you down uh, the road to end, which is not only where you'll, not where you want to be when you're still early in the game, or in the race, I should say. Um, but it's also um, where you'll be at the end. <laughs> but um, only as far as how you got there, it's because you wanted power. So I'll say that is a whole different aspect of the whole video. But I'll touch upon that now, and that is corruption in government and um, the style of life you choose in regards to how everyone else lives their life in a society, so they have how everyone else lives their life in a society um, around you. So, um, I'll talk about the next video, but let's continue with this line of thought, and that is um, the next one, which is wrath. That is getting mad at someone because someone did something to you and you think it's okay to do the same thing back to them. And let me just tell you this, it's a quote, it's an eye for an eye, we'll leave the whole world blind. I'll tell you this, an eye for an eye leaves the whole world. This is a quote, quotes blind. So, sorry, not like blind, like Mormonism, like you're blind to seeing the light, but um, just you're 
um, not um, aware that um, to do certain things. Well, if you already read the quote and you understand it, then I don't need to say anything more. The point is the quote already exists. It's a good quote. It's a good ideology that started establishing the law codes that have already put in place. Um, but anyway, um, as I was saying, um, the uh, idea is that there's justice in the world, there's the legal system, and there's government, and branches of that and things related to that so they can handle anything which is considered unjust, unfair, or unrighteous. And those are all handled procedurally by the appropriate people and in the appropriate places at the appropriate time. So that is why it does not pay for retribution or wrath. And the only thing that is the weird thing that slips by the law is vigilanteism, but only Batman can do it, I would say, because he's the only one who can pull it off, in my opinion. But anyway, um, the next one is, uh, we'll say there's two more. I'm almost, I think I think I've had four. So the next one's laziness, or sloth as they call it. That is the idea that you don't contribute to society, you don't do anything, you just lay around and vegetate, as they say. Uh, what that'll get you is nowhere, which will amount to is nothing. And what that'll get you in life is nothing fast, because no one's gonna give you anything, especially not from their life. Um, no one's gonna do any work for you, just to do yourself. And no one's going to um, necessarily motivate you, you just to motivate yourself, or rather just get self-motivated. Um, you can find resources that have been said that'll help you get motivated, um, but you'll never in real life just have someone go out of their way to try to get you up um, to your um, personal standard themselves because you to do yourself so anyway something to keep in mind and if you're someone who is considering this an underachiever you better start raising the bar because you better be performing at high standard if you want to get anywhere in life um the next thing i'll mention i think that's two three four one two three four five one two three four five six seven Right. So the last one's lust. And that's the idea of pursuing a relationship to the point of sexual blank, but not really meaning it, not really feeling it, not really valuing the person as a person. So these three things are important because the point of love is connection and the point of sex is culmination of your soul. So if you don't feel like your soul mates or that you're like bonded in the kind of way where you feel like you could be together, you should not pursue that route because that is the definition, textbook failure of not adhering to that cardinal rule. So... That have been said, especially in areas with a lot of drinking alcohol, like here in New Orleans. Well, sorry, which is where I am. I was saying New Orleans, I'm a New Orleans Ian, kind of <laughs> honorarily, because I live here, so I'll say I am. Um, it means you have to respect the sanctity of all things um, sacred, and in the Catholic law of God, and in the rule of God, and that is what all these things are, these cardinal rules. So keep them in mind as you go about your life, and never break one, because that is the cardinal sin. And that is punishable in hell, as they say. <laughs> so, anyway. And the, the threat and or phrase and or Bible says you will burn in hell if you break one. So, if you're not, is my recommendation. But anyway, um, good luck with your life and what you do in life. And I'll let you be free to go about it again. I just wanted to open your eyes to things if you're not aware. So you keep in mind in order to prevent you from breaking the rules. Anyway, I'm Jonathan. Peace out. I'll see you guys later.